Okay, so this is going to come out, or be put up, um, before the fucking long one. <laughs> so, uh, I just want to share this card that I drew, that, that I didn't share during, during that. Um, so I'm going to share this card and read it, and I also want to say that, uh, I really hope you listen to at least a little bit of, uh, what I read from. Uh, what I read from, even though it may be hard to uh, follow, uh, it, it's worth it. Even if even if you are intrigued enough to not continue to listen what I say, but intrigued enough to look into those books or to look into that uh, specific text that I read from. Uh, your soul will, will reward you uh, many times over, and your spirit will be replenished for it. So don't do it. Don't do. Don't do it for me. Uh, don't do it for anyone else. But do it for yourself. And in so doing, you are doing it for everyone. So realize this. Uh, this is uh, Another thing that that happens once once we begin to awaken and realize uh, selfishness and selflessness, and, and then we uh, break down the bears, barriers of uh, those two things. We we dissolve the illusion of the two, and realize that oftentimes, whenever we are. We think maybe we are being selfish uh, and feeding our own spirit and essence that is uh, only aiding the collective, and that is selfless. Very reminiscent, uh, that woman on the card, of people I've been drawn towards lately. Seer of Cups. A dreamy young woman kneels on the beach under a brilliant night nice sky. Smiling, she stirs the waters of a chalice. A tortoise rises from the ocean as the waves moisten her skirt. Behind her, a tumbling waterfall pools below the palms. A stream of iridescent droplets rises from the lagoon, arcs over her head, and cascades down into the sea. Like all the seers, this woman possesses a youthful innocence. She is full of beauty, yet fragile, like the first buds of spring. She is opening up, discovering self-love, and with it, the genuine capacity to love another. Naturally intuitive and imaginative, her growing psychic abilities are fostered by solitude in reflection. That's big right now for a lot of us. To cultivate this awareness. The Seer of Cups encourages you. To spend time alone journaling. Or dreaming. Or exploring. Nature. She may describe an introspective person in your life and almost certainly points to qualities worth nurturing within yourself right now. Nurture your inner nature. So yeah, I just wanted to share that one and then also say you know, again, that's, 
essence of the last one was to reignite um, hope, not just hope in, you know, uh, you know, the old system. No, we're not going back to that. You know, and a lot of people are like, fuck this. If we're going back to how it was, no, fuck that. And uh, no, it, there's no going back now. So, uh, if, if you, uh, fall prey to, uh, certain ideologies or fear, take a step back, remember what it's all about, remember a bigger aspect and picture, remember the youth, remember the children, remember the purity, remember the purity that, you know, used to be in you until you gave that away with the indoctrination and the bullshit. You succumb to it. We're going to be reminded of what was within us all along. If you haven't been already, So be ready to get real, <laughs> to get raw, to get sun, to get good, and to get God. Be ready to remember. Peace.